And today I'm going to tell you why we should limit texting. So who here does not text in class or at the library? Why would you not? Okay. How about when you go out or when you are socializing or you are eating with a friend, you're sitting by the table, who does not text? Or look on their phone. Okay, so we have a few. Okay, so text, text and lingo affect um, students' grades and communication skills. And it also ends up, ends up with um, many accidents. So these are a few things why we should refrain from texting. Once again, my photo is not there. <laughs> but hit your arrow again. It's in the next slide. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so texting was very convenient because we didn't have to make phone calls or email. It's a quick and faster way to convey a message to someone real quick. Um, or if you don't want to stay on the phone for a very long time, or let's say um, you're in a meeting or something that you won't be able to talk, it's a quick way to give you an FYI as to what is going on. And when it became a phenomenon, too, it was very affordable to text instead of call. Um, However, it seems that we are misusing the text. I mean, those little girl, these little guys are not able to watch screen because they are not two years yet, but then they can text. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it tells you, well, texting is getting out of hand now. And um, <clears throat> according to A, about 2,000 and 30, 300 and um, text messages are sent within a month compared to two or three calls, um, phone calls. So um, it clearly shows that people are not interacting with each other. All, all we are doing lately is texting. And then also about 50% of teens has admitted that they've been distracted whilst driving because they are texting, which can lead to accidents. So really, we should um, talk to those who look up to us. Our kids, our, um, our siblings, to be mindful about texting. Um, psychologists have also um, found out that it, it affects anxiety, it brings distractions, um, lack of sleep, because teens stay up, or kids stay up and then they just text. I, I know we, some of us still do. We have homeworks, but there will be still at the back of the um, computer texting. And um, really, maybe we should leave a voice message on my phone saying that, you know, hang up and then just text me because you get me quickly. This is you call people and you can't get hold of them, but then when you text them, they reply you instantly. I mean, um, sometimes I get a text at 5 o'clock in the morning about someone I work with trying to call off. It's not even in the morning, and they are giving me excuses. Or sometimes I'll get a text from my manager telling me that, oh, I think we need to hire a social and so amount of people. I think this is a business strategy. Wait for me to come to work or call, but you shouldn't text something like that. Uh, <clears throat> once again, text is affecting our social skills because when I'm here and I'm talking to you, we cannot interact. People seem not to know what to say in person, but then, when the, the, the individual is not there, they are quick to text. Um, yeah, it's affecting our uh, grammar because of the um, um, lingo. Mm -hmm. And it's growing, it's evolving. So our, our children, I mean, I don't know what is going to happen with our children when they grow up and then they go to the business world, how mm -hmm. they are going to um, assimilate. I mean, we have text, <coughs> chats, chatslang.com is like a dictionary that you can go <laughs> just like searching for words and text watch it it just tells you about what is happening accidents or anything funny happened that happened um, through text messages and also well a teacher is in school and I guess mm -hmm. is telling us <laughs> to text 
Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, we should all refrain from texting <laughs> and we should let <laughs> our kids, our siblings, and those who hold us as role models, we should try and lead by example and limit the amount of texting. Thank you.